Hi everyone, this is Bryn, and you are listening to an audio version of the Ultimate Bridal blog presented by Columbia City Bridal. Quote, care for your guests as you would your parents, end quote, the event usher's handbook. This is episode six, the guest list. post the venue, then you know it is not imperative you have a guest list 100% created yet while searching for a venue. However, since you have started the planning process, you will want to begin piecing together a guest list so you can have some official numbers. While every wedding is different, you will need to keep track of who you are inviting and to what. Some weddings have all their guests invited to attend the ceremony and reception and others have a small intimate ceremony, but a reception with everyone after. While you most likely have decided your direction, you definitely want to confirm it with your partner. Just keep in mind, the more people who come, the more expensive it will be. Expect 20% of invited guests to not be able to make it, even when you send out a save the date months in advance. When it comes to who to invite, the choice is you and your partners. Here are some things to consider though, based on my own personal experience, take it or leave it. Let each set of parents give you a list of who they want to invite. If you think the list will be out of control, put a cap on it, unless your parents are helping pay for the wedding. If a guest is of age to bring a date, let them have you plus one. I know, I know, this isn't always popular among those couples with huge families, and I know I said more people equals more money spent, but do you really think they would bring a plus one if they are single, or would they be fine knowing their family will for sure be there? For my own wedding, we let everyone have a plus one. Only one person who wasn't in a relationship already brought a date. He was a 75-year-old man coming from out of town, and he brought his former sister-in-law. That's it. That is all who brought a plus one that we would not have expected to. I have been invited to a wedding, though, and my boyfriend of two years, now husband, wasn't invited, and it does hit at the heart. I essentially would have been alone if two others of our high school friends were unable to make it. So, like I said, just something to consider. Okay, now once you have a guest list, you will want to keep organized to remain as stress-free as possible. I created a spreadsheet to help you get started. Please make a copy of it before using it. You can do that by going to File, then Make a Copy. I have also given you editor status so you can change or add what you need. You can access this on our website. Well, that is it. We will talk more about save the dates and invitations in our post on paper. listening to the audio version of the Ultimate Bridal blog, then please like and subscribe to our page. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Columbia City Bridal.